Mary Garland from Ann's Fabrics in Canton, Massachusetts. Today we're going to be showing you how to wind a bobbin and thread your baby lock sewing machine. This applies to any of the baby lock sewing machines in the computerized. Today we're using the Allure Plus. I'm going to lift up the cover and I will turn on the machine on the side. The machine has a great safety feature that it will not engage until you depress the LED screen. Now the machine is ready to go. Baby lock bobbins are made in such a way that they have little holes on the side and these are not just for decorative purposes. If you look in the dead center of the baby lock bobbin you will see a little notch. This notch actually matches up with the wire on the front of the bobbin winder. You're going to line them up and put the bobbin on. Next, you're going to need to have your thread in the proper way. I use Guterman thread, but you can also use any good quality thread such as Mettler. I'm going to take the, bobbin, the thread and place it on thread spool. This is a thread spool cap. Baby Lock provides you with more than one size, and the reason being you want to match the size of the spool cap with the size of the spool of thread. That way, no thread can get caught in between the cap and the thread itself. If you look here on the front of the baby lock, you will see dotted and solid lines. When we are doing the bobbin area, we are going to follow the dotted lines through here. So the first one tells me to take my thread, and it doesn't matter if your thread is coming from underneath or from above. You're going to follow the dotted lines to this area here. This is the trickiest part of the bobbin winding. You want to go under that lever, behind the disc, and then tuck your thread underneath the disc. This is what gives your bobbin tension. So you're going to go underneath the bar, under the disc, and over to the bobbin area so that when you look at it this is how it will look. You're going under the bar and under the disc and over. Next you're going to take the end of your thread and carefully feed it through one of the holes in the bobbin. If you're not able to do it with the bobbin on, go ahead and pull the bobbin off the bobbin winder and slide it up through. Sometimes you'll need to take the scissors to give you a crisper edge. And we're going to just feed it through the hole. And then I'm going to go back to the area to line that back up so the two notches meet. Now, I hold the bobbin thread here. I'll push the bobbin over towards the right. This device here helps your bobbin wind completely and then disengages the bobbin winder when your bobbin is full. I will then depress the start stop button over here and the bobbin begins to wind. I can stop it so that I can trim away this thread that I'm holding on to. Continue allowing your bobbin to fill. As you can see here, the bobbin is almost completely wound. When it reaches the disc here, it will automatically stop the bobbin. If you'd rather not wait, you can also depress the start stop button. Disengage the bobbin winder and you have a beautifully wound bobbin. Lift it straight up and as you can see there's a small cutter on the left side and the right side of the bobbin winder. I just slip my thread under there and cut. One small thing we do see is many times when people are winding they may accidentally wind it and the thread would get caught under the bobbin winder. There's an easy fix. You're just going to grab underneath and pull up Remove any of the thread that has gathered underneath. Take this piece, go back down, 
and just wiggle it till it gets in place and engages. Now you have a nicely wound bobbin that you can place in your machine. The next part is actually wind threading the machine. I'm going to disengage it from this part of the machine and now I'm going to follow the solid lines. The dotted lines were for the bobbin, the solid is for the machine. When threading a machine, you must always make sure that your needle is in the up position and that your presser foot is in the up position. This ensures that the tension is not engaged. On the Allure Plus, there's actually a wonderful little window here that when the presser foot is down, the window closes, which makes it impossible to thread your machine. Great safety feature. So lift up your presser foot and the window is now open. I'm going to follow the solid line through two, down to three, up to four, and down to five. Number six is in front of the needle bar here. At this point, I do put down my presser foot. I don't want the thread to continue coming off of the spool while I'm trying to thread it. The Allure Plus actually has an automatic needle threader. So I'm here at six, I'm coming across to seven, and then I'm going to cut it on the side of the machine. Here. That's number eight. And then number nine is just depressing this lever, and your machine is automatically threaded. Lift up your presser foot, slip it under the foot. There's a great slot in the front of the J foot. And now you're ready to sew. If you need to replace the bobbin, you're going to come to the bobbin area, depress the lever and push it to the right. Up comes your bobbin case. Remove your bobbin. Take your new bobbin. There's a picture on the front of your screen that will allow you to make sure your bobbin is in the proper area. Tuck it underneath. I like to hold mine in place with my finger. And it's in. Replace the bobbin case cover. Now, as you notice, the bobbin is underneath. Many times you have to use the needle up, needle down to engage it. Most sewing machines before required you to do that, but not the baby lock. I can put my fabric underneath. I like to put my speed to lowest. That way I make sure that I have threaded it properly. I will engage the machine and it automatically pulls up the bobbin thread as it starts to sew. If when you do this and you hear a large clunk, clunk, clunk noise, automatically hit the stop start. You may have threaded it improperly. And as you can see, it's stitched beautifully. There's just a little piece of thread here that when it brought up your thread. So a nice stitch. And that's how you thread your machine as well as wind a bobbin. We hope you'll join us for further videos on how to use some of the great baby lock feet. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again soon.